Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to, for the new ones, for the old ones, for the ones that just don't want to leave because you love what you're hearing. I want to take a moment out just to say thank you to Dr. Africana. Mama, we appreciate you. Queen Africa, we love you. Please listen to this wonderful, awesome, magnificent queen from Africa and get back to me. And, and I need you guys to pay attention to what I'm getting ready to say. You raised a very important issue that you said, being literate or illiterate. But I'll tell you, our issues as Africans today are issues of the mind. The most dangerous African of today is an African who is colonized, educated or not. Coming from Zimbabwe, I can honestly tell you that the people who are moving Zimbabwe in terms of the awakening are the villagers. They seem to have a better understanding of what is really going on and are less likely to be sold are less likely to sell their souls. And you must look in, at the people around you. Some of the most difficult people, I gave it, I was called by the Africa group at the World Bank one time to address them for their annual uh, event. And I went through all the issues and the pillars of why Africa is where Africa is, and, and I analyzed the uh, Pact for the continuation of colonization that the 14 African former French colonies were made to sign. I thought everybody understood. By the end of it, two African born economists working for the World Bank come to me and said, But Ambassador, why do you keep talking about the Berlin Conference? It's a thing of the past. And to my utter shock, I'd gone through the process of explaining the Berlin Conference and that it is a policy that was put in place in order to see to it that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated. And that as long as we have a country called Togo, as long as we have a country called Burkina Faso, as long as we have a country called Malawi, we are defeated, intentionally so. So these two economists working for the World Bank are the same ones now that are being used as instruments of our own self-destruction. They're the ones that are being sent to Africa to sell policies that are detrimental to Africa's progress. So the question then becomes, what is our education doing for us? And it goes back to the miseducation. The people who are in power are the ones who are failing to stand up and challenge those who are raping us in broad daylight. Pardon my choice of words. I was once asked by one African, Ambassador, let's try to be nice to these Westerners. Let's not be too direct as we challenge them. And I did ask this brother of mine, I said, my brother, help me out. How do I tell a man who is raping me to rape me nicely? I said, help me with the language. <laughs> and this was an educated professor who is advising me to be nice. How long am I going to continue to be nice? Those are the educated people who are sitting in the boardrooms and they choose to be mute. And when they are mute, while representing us, that means 1.4 billion Africans are mute. It is not the villager who is sitting at the boardroom table. It is the elite, the educated. So my son, what is our education doing to us? What have we done to undo the colonial education? I hear right here in Ghana, perfect example. There's not a single 
Kwame Nkrumah book that is required reading in the Ghanaian educational system. Whose problem is that? Most African countries, our educational system is still the colonial educational system. So what do you expect from the leaders that we have today if their education remains colonized? So may I say the most dangerous person for Africa today is a colonized African. And we must challenge each and every one of us to have a serious conversation with the image in the mirror. Are you colonized? To your ability to buy bread, to your ability to get a job. Can you connect the dots back to the policies that are designed? Okay, y'all, come on now, come on now. Where else can you hear such knowledge if not for Dr. Arakama? Queen of Africa. Do you hear what she just said? Now y'all, there's a shift in the atmosphere and y'all better be ready. Listen y'all, I'm not gonna say too much. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, you don't know. And that's just it. But all I can say is, thank you guys for coming back. Please share, like, and subscribe. And we have more coming your way. Tony, appreciate y'all. Love y'all.